The calls for help could not be ignored. You guys aren't supposed to touch people like that. These two indigenous girls on the ground accused of stealing crackers. It was way too much punishment for the crime that happened. And I think they don't they don't need to be doing all that. The incident happened May 21st at the Pine Center Save on Foods in Prince George. Chase Bullerwell says he didn't realize one of the girls had allegedly taken a bag of crispers until they walked out of the store and were followed by two plainclothes loss prevention officers. He grabbed her, put his arms around her, even around her neck and like like choke locking her like that. We are protecting the girls' identities as they are children in care. One of them is described as having the mental and emotional capacity of an eight-year-old. You can hear the trauma in her screams. These men are not uniformed. These men are not known to these children and they are putting hands all over their bodies. Bullerwell says even though he was with the group, he was never treated like a suspect. And I think it might have been about race that they were taken down specifically rather than me. It's pretty triggering. Vanessa Williams took this video. Any store that I go into um, always followed because of the color of my skin. And I try not to let it bother me, but for children, I will step up. She says the officers used excessive force. In a statement to Global News, Save on Foods says when its loss prevention officer requested that the stolen item be returned, its officer was assaulted outside of the store. But Prince George RCMP say the girls will not be charged with theft or assault. There's insufficient evidence for us to um, provide a report to Crown Council. This off-duty RCMP officer jumped in, which another witness says made the situation worse. So instead of helping the situation by de-escalating and calming the youth and handling the situation properly, um, she instead added a third adult's body weight onto a child. But Prince George RCMP defending the officer's actions. She used a um, control technique that uh, quickly allowed that person to be placed in handcuffs. Still, the loss prevention officers and police being criticized for defaulting to physical force. It, there's tons of trauma training and nonviolence intervention that doesn't involve that level, level of aggression. I wish that we were asking why are these children stealing food uh, versus condemning them for it. The duo hearing the girls are shaken <laughs> and trying to move on. Angela Jung, Global News. Prince George.